What's up mga katagay? Heto na lang tayo sa ating bagong video at para sa kalaman, click nyo lang ang notification bell after like and subscribe. It's me, Jennifer Garay, and here we go! So, rural poverty denies us our right to development. It is a part of Rizal's life and the right to development is an inalienable right of every person which entitled them to become an active participant in all aspects of human intercourse and beneficiary thereof. So the American tour in Road to London in April 13, 1888 is when Rizal left Japan for America and on the 28th he arrived at San Francisco, California. So from there, he made an observation trip across USA and stayed for a while in New York. So his journey led him to speak admiringly of America as providing a country to the poor looking for work. But he deplored the American prejudice against Asians and African Americans and was especially appealed by the ban against interracial marriages in some states because he notices that there was a lack of racial equality between the whites and the blacks and that freedom is only for the white. It is saddening to hear that only a few people are destined to embrace development while some are not. Unfortunately, the ones who vehemently need progress are those who have never uh, had it because of racism. And when you were born poor, you struggled as a, a lot and couldn't find a decent job. That is why most of those people who are in the lower class find themselves working as construction workers or farmers. So when we're in that kind of uh, job, it can't be denied that we burn on heat while working. That is why we have darker skin color and apparently when they were tired of that kind of job, they decided to work. Uh, abroad to sustain their family's needs and give their children a better education they never had before. So in this case, how can they fulfill the future they dream of for their children if a country that is supposed to be a country for the poor looking for work is only for those who have white skin color? So it is very inhumane to stick to that kind of notion as if you would say only those who have white skin color have tummies and able to eat. It is indeed discrimination against us, the Filipinos, since we belong to the brown race. And in fact, we do not even hate anyone for being white because it is not their fault to have such color. Do we need to explain ourselves why we were born like this for them to understand? Don't we deserve freedom because we are black or in a brown race? So for me, it is no longer prejudice but a complete discrimination coming from a white leader who believes that only white people deserve to live freely. So sometimes we talk about how to deal with depression but depression came from within you. So as a patriot like our great hero who said it's us, I will encourage the youth to study hard to chase their dream and become financially stable from this generation to the next generation. So if we can achieve that sustainability, we don't have to migrate to get a job and time will come that the other country who belittled us, they will realize how they badly need some people like us to be part of their world without racism because of our inherent beauty, not just with our skin, but our faith and determination. So that, that's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.